Letter Kenny, Derry's Super Soft Poem. Act One. Exterior, hay bale in barn. Day. Wayne is sitting on a hay bale with his dog, Gus, in his arms. You're partaking in a philosophical conversation with your pals the other day. Cut to exterior, the produce stand, day. The Hicks, Wayne, Derry, Squirrely Dan, and Katie are seated in their respective spots, surrounding the produce stand. We join them in mid-conversation. Each of them has a puppers in hand. And that is just my basic understanding of how essentialism shaped organized religion as we knows it. You can put that in your fucking Facebook. Wayne takes a sip of his puppers as Daryl begins to speak. I bet Nietzsche would hate Facebook. No, he wouldn't. He might have. Well, he wouldn't have. Well, I think he would have. It's full of annoying people, pointless arguments, and shitty, blurry pictures of dead celebrities. Waste of damn time, if you ask me. Okay, Derry, Derry, okay. Okay, Derry, Derry, okay. Let me ask you something. What ideology is Frederick Nietzsche the father of? Nihilism. Correct. And what's the basic premise of nihilism there, Derry? Nothing has any purpose. All right. Taking all that into consideration, what would be the point, nay, the purpose of diverting energy into hating something if you didn't just believe in but fathered a philosophy based on the premise of nothing in the universe having any purpose whatsoever? Daryl stays silent. Thought so. Katie chimes in. Now that that's settled, what are you fellas up to this weekend? Well, choring mostly. Meetings ups with my women's studies professor, Professor Trisha to- Katie cuts him off. What about you, Derry? Daryl shoots a boyish grin to the sky. I got myself a date with a nice cultured lass I met at the Letterkenny Art Fair last week. Pump the brakes. You went to the Letterkenny Art Fair? Ain't no shames in enjoying the fine arts. You're Templi, bud. How do you land a date with a cultured lass, Derry? Daryl pauses. Well, I wanted to impress her, so I told her I'm a bit of a poet. Squirrely Dan's eyes widen, Katie frowns, and Wayne's jaw hangs open just enough to let flies in. Uh, what? A poet. There is another pause. Now why in the fuck would you do that, Derry? You're about as eloquent as a toilet brush. You should never lies about whose you are just to impress a lady, Derry. Only thing worse than a liar is a degen from upcountry. Look, you all know I'm not a fibber, but I really wanted to make an impression on this girl. Derry. Can confirm. I just want to show her that I'm capable of creating something, well, affectionate. I was hoping you all could help me write her a poem. Hard no. But... Wayne cuts him off. No. Now, Wayne's. Our dairy here dids makes a bits of an oopsies. Wayne mumbles to himself. Bit more than an oopsie figure it out. But we's got a codes. When's a friends asks for helps. He waits for Wayne to finish the sentence. Wayne sighs. <sighs> You help him. Well, then, I guess we're helping Derry write a super soft poem. I suppose we is. Ooh, literacy with the pals. Cut to exterior, hay bale in barn, day. We're back to Wayne, sitting on a hay bale with his dog, Gus, in his arms. I'm no nihilist, but this here is fucking pointless. <laughs>